Hey, this is Michael Jarvis Extraordinaire coming at you again. Hey, uh, YouTube family, I got a confession to make. I use my tire ink pens on these tires, and after a while, I just, I just kind of didn't like it. I wasn't feeling it, and I had one on the driver's side front that actually started cracking a little bit. So, and I think it was all my fault. I think it's in the preparation uh, when I was doing the the paint pens uh, I had it down here next to the garage and uh, what I did was just as soon as I got it done uh, moved it back up top you know in my parking place and I think the Sun baked them and uh, you know where I had the where I had that paint pen uh, where I drew in the Arturo Trailblade ATs ATS's and I think uh, I think that's what made them crack. Now all the other ones came out pretty good, and uh, but I kind of like this look better right here. You know, this uh, I, I went ahead and, and I cleaned them all off with the acetone. You know, and you know that was the same stuff that you use to get your tires ready for the paint pens. Use this acetone. Always use gloves. You know, social media message disclaimer and I actually bought some of these but I never used them I uh, used the slime version worked pretty good I'm gonna use the tire ink version yeah the tire ink version it looked pretty good too but then uh, you know especially after the one on the left front started cracking a little bit you know I just really wasn't feeling it anymore so what I did was I just used the same acetone cleaned up my tires really good and then I sprayed the untouchable uh, silicone tire wet spray on the tires and I kind of like this look a little bit better anyway you know it gives a more mean aggressive look instead of a 1990s look now keen eyes will notice this little fella right here now I used to work for Terminix and I have no clue what kind of spider that is. I know the, the only spiders we got in Western North Carolina that are poisonous are the Black Widow. It has a neurotoxin. And then the Brown Recluse Spider is kind of like a little hairless brown spider with a little fiddle symbol on it. And that has a necrotizing venom and uh difference between a neurotoxin neurotoxin attacks your heart and gets in your bloodstream a uh, necrotizing venom actually uh eats your flesh which uh, uh that is not very good i think this this is what they call like a a fluorescent lynx spider i think it's an orb weaver like the ones that you see you know around your uh, door sills and everything in the morning so I'm gonna leave this little feller alone. Yeah, well, I don't know, feller, female, whatever. Hey, there's only two genders. Oh man, I threw that in there. I'm sorry, but all in all, I think I like this better. I don't know what does everybody else think. You know, put it down there in the comments. You know, if if you like this look better. I think it really makes it stand out, you know, with the tire shine on it. And right here is the stuff that I used. You can buy this stuff at Walmart. You can get it at the parts stores like uh, I know uh, AutoZone. Uh, I think Advance has it, but they charge about eight to ten dollars a can for this stuff. It's Crystal Products Untouchable Wet Tire Finish durability protection and shine and they ain't kidding this stuff will last a long time i mean it'll make your tires look like that you just come out of a, a car wash but you can get this stuff from walmart for about five dollars a can and i'm pretty sure you can even have it ordered uh, and delivered to your door from walmart you know if you don't actually want to set foot in a walmart which i absolutely hate going to walmart anymore because there is never an actual person ringing you up. They make you go through the dad gym self-checkout line. 
which I think they ought to give you a discount for doing that or an i9 anyway so all right well I kind of like this now I actually use it on my steps and things like that uh, you can use it on any of the black any of the black trim the only thing is it, it stays real gooey for a long time which is how I like to use this stuff the chemical guys VRP vinyl rubber plastic protectant now you can use it on on things like this you can use it on your door handles you can't really use it on your tires so that's where you need a good silicone tire shine spray uh, you can use it on your steps you know anything that is vinyl you know rubber plastic uh, you can use it all all it inside your, your plastic door trim you know I'm, I'm poor so I got a express model no I'm just kidding now you can use it all throughout your interior anything that you want to shine up and protect now this VRP this lasts a long time too and really folks I wouldn't really recommend using it on your steps you know I use it on my steps I use it on my mud flaps too but if you don't want to go slip sliding away kind of like that old song you know then I suggest probably instead of this use this on your steps besides that that stuff gets on your boots and then you you uh, get on the the pedals and that's that's no bueno all right well let me know what you think in the comments like and subscribe do all that YouTube stuff and until then everybody be good to each other and I, I think oh uh, uh, who was that that said that? The talk show host guy? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Be good to each other. Uh, God bless everybody. And have a good day. Thanks.